Welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I'm Dr. Kaval. After discussing the oligopoly different forms, in the first part we discussed in detail the oligopoly contestable condition. In the second part we discussed the price leadership oligopoly form. In the third part we discussed in detail about the oligopoly perfect cartel and the market sharing cartel. Now in this fourth part we shall discuss the Swayze King demand curve non-collusive oligopoly. So in this part we discuss that what is Swayze King demand curve and why demand curve is called Swayze. When we what are the assumptions on the basis of the Swayze King demand curve functions. How does the oligopolist achieve equilibrium? So, what are the limitations or the criticism made on the Swayze King demand curve? So, in this lecture, we discuss in detail all about. So, here I would like to suggest the three videos we already uploaded on oligopoly. The first part of oligopoly, in which we discussed in detail about the contestable market. The second part of the oligopoly, you must watch the price leadership model. And the third part of the oligopoly, perfect cartel and market sharing under collusive oligopolies. What is Swayze King demand curve and why this demand curve is called Swayze? King demand curve is non-collusive model of oligopoly. So now question arises that why the Swayze King demand curve is non-collusive model of oligopoly because firm act independently here. The concept of King demand curve was given by an American economist Paul M. Swayze in 1939 in his article name called Rigid Prices Non-Collusive Oligopoly in which he explained the reason behind the price rigidities that lowering the price will not increase the demand too much. If the firm decides to decrease the price their demand will not increase too much. That is why it is called the Swayze King demand curve because this model was propounded by the Swayze Paul Swayze in 1939. The demand curve is with King at the level of existing price facing an oligopolist. Swayze King demand curve is like this you can see here this is the demand curve that is downward falling curve and after the P the demand curve here is the kink. So, it means why the demand curve is kink? It means that the increase in price is not followed by the competitor whereas the decrease in price is followed by the competitor. So, however, the king demand curve is downward sloping suggesting price rigidities because rival firms lowers down the price but restrict the increase in price. King demand curve shows different elasticity for ups and down in the price and demand curve becomes kinged. Due to the kink in oligopolis demand curve, there is a discontinuity in marginal revenue curve that implies that the range within which cost may change without affecting the price and quantity of output. So, what are those assumptions on the basis of which the Swayze King demand curve functions? It is assumed that there are few firms in the market and each firm is independent and decide its own price and output. Increase in price is not followed by the competitor and firm loses its major share and demand is elastic for price increase. Whereas, decrease in price is followed by the competitor and price war starts and demand is inelastic for price decrease. Each seller is aware about the action of the competitor. This is the equilibrium of firm under oligopoly. If the market clearing price is OP and if the firm decides firm A decides to charge the price P1. So, the elasticity is higher at this point because customers will move towards the rival firms and purchase the same product from that firm. So, at this point demand is relatively elastic and if the firm is decides to charge the price P2 this is the called kink and the demand curve however is downward but demand is relatively inelastic. Average revenue is the demand curve of the firm 
and the marginal revenue is revenue of the firm. So, here you can see that that the marginal cost is from the marginal revenue. So, here the once the kink is formed at this point marginal revenue is discontinued here average revenue is equal to D it means represent the king demand curve of oligopoly marginal revenue MR represent the marginal revenue curve of oligopoly just below the point A relating to the kink marginal revenue discontinues marginal cost represent the marginal cost curve firm equilibrium is achieved at the point where marginal cost touches the marginal revenue but here this case is not satisfied but here the marginal cost cuts through the gap in the marginal revenue curve so this is the limitation also of the king demand curve we are going to discuss that what are the limitations of the Swissy demand curve so it means that increase in price is not followed by the competitor whereas the decrease in price is followed by the competitor so the cost may be increases or decreases suppose the cost increases or decreases from mc1 to mc2 or from mc2 to mc1 that the price and the output remain same this model tells about the behavior of oligopolist rather than price and output determination increase or decrease in cost of firm does not affect the price and quantity produced here the marginal cost cuts through the gap in the marginal revenue curve so the condition of marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue is not satisfied because the marginal cost fluctuates without changing quantity and price the other drawback of this model is that the competitor firm will match over a fall in price but not follow the rise in price it is less realistic because some firm may wish to compete on price considering that it is strongest firm in the market we are aware that oligopolis compete on the non-price matters and this is the barrier to entry in oligopolistic market but the theory explains price computation but fails to explain the non-price computation ordinary demand curve does not apply to oligopoly market so this is all about the king demand curve so if you have any feedback or any future request you may ask in comment box in the last but not least if you like this video please click the subscribe button and if you have watch this my channel for the first time you must subscribe so that you may get notification about upcoming videos on major related economic topics that will be helpful in your future for your career so thanks for watching